hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to draft cut and sew a simple turtle neck okay um my name is Silem. very pleased to meet you if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and if you want to see how we make this turtle neck definitely keep on watching oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So I just went ahead to fold my fabric first. I'm going ahead to just draft my um, the front piece of my top. Now I went ahead to draw a baseline at the top there. And then from that baseline, I'm marking the bust point, which is 10 inches. And the under bust, which is 13 inches. And then the half length line, 16 inches. Now the bust point is the distance from the shoulder to the nipple. While the under bust is the distance from the shoulder to under the bust. Then the half length is simply just 3 inches added to the under bust measurement. I went ahead to just extend all those lines. Now I'm dividing uh, my client's bust measurement by four, marking that on the bust, placing that on the bust point line and marking it, and then I added one inch allowance. I also divided her shape measurement by four, placed that on the under bust line, marked that point and added one inch allowance. Now I just extended that um, under bust point down to the half length line, then I connected it um to that point i marked on the bus on the bus point now from the shoulder i just marked eight inches downwards which is going to serve as the armhole line now i divided her shoulder measurement by two and then added one inch allowance her shoulder measurement is 14 inches divided by two that's seven inches and that's what i marked up on that baseline i added one inch allowance now i'm just going to just connect all the points and then cut them with my scissors and this is your basic bodice drafted so if you don't know how to draft a basic bodice this is what it is very simple now i folded another piece of fabric and i placed the front piece on top of the back piece and then i'm just going to just cut the same outline but i made sure to leave about one and a half inch along that fold to serve as my zipper allowance so that's why you can see that there's a bit of you know where i'm cutting right now that's the zipper allowance i'm just going to just cut it open Now for the total neck, you want to have three inches for your width and you want to have two and a half inches for the depth of your neck for the front. Okay. So that the neck is small and it's fitted. Okay. You want the total neck to fit around the neck. Now for the back piece, you're going to have the same width, which is three inches, but for the depth of the back, you're going to use one inch. Okay. So take note of that. So I'm going to, have to just draw a curve to connect, um, you know, those points. And I'm going to, have to just cut it with my scissors. Now, once I've cut that, I'm just going to, have to just slant my shoulder just a bit. Now, I'm going to, have to just mark, um, you know, the... Um, um the zipper allowance i'm going to have to just mark the line where i'm going to sew and i'm just setting that aside moving on to my sewing machine the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to join the two back pieces together okay so make sure that if the back pieces are right sides facing so the right side of both pieces are facing each other I'm just going to have to just um you know join those pieces now once i've joined it i'm just going to open it up and this is what we have now taking my front piece i'm placing it and then i'm placing my back piece on top of my front piece now i'm going to go ahead and join the front the front the shoulder of the front piece and the shoulder of the back piece together with half of an inch seam allowance i did that for both shoulders now i'm going to go ahead and just um shaping the sides of my top okay Mine is actually a dress, so as you can see, I've gone ahead to just join the top to, you know, the skirt part of the dress. If you want to see how I made this, the skirt part of this dress, um, the link will be in the description, description box down below. It's actually a 180 degree flare um, circle dress, okay? Now, place your top on the table and mark a midpoint. That's the midpoint of the front. Now, from that midpoint, measure the neck all the way to the shoulder stop at the shoulder don't go all the way back stop at the shoulder now take another piece of fabric mark 
a point where you're going to start your measurements from and then from that point to the left measure measure and mark what you measured for the front neck now turn your top to the back and from the shoulder measure the back neck i got five for mine from that point again on your fabric measure towards the right and then measure what you got when you measured your back neck for, for mine i got five inches now move on to the front part again and then go up by half an inch this is the front and that's the back the left side is the front and the right side is the back now once i got that half inch i just drew a curve and just connected it down to the rest of it now i'm just going to go ahead and just mark one and a half inches now that's how wide my turtleneck is going to be if you want yours to be wider or slimmer go ahead and just adjust the 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 measurements or the number accordingly so once you have that just go ahead and just connect all those points together so this from here to here is the front from here to here is the back okay and then go ahead and just cut make sure that um the point where you marked initially is at the center and then the front is on one side and the back is on the other side now go ahead and just cut that okay now take another piece of fabric fold it now you want the part where you have the front to be on the fold okay now this is the front now make sure it's on the fold okay so that's the fold right there make sure it aligns with that fold of the new fabric and then go ahead and just you know cut um you know following that the the initial one you marked as a part and just go ahead and just cut you know following that okay try and leave about even if it's quarter of an inch allowance all the way around so that it helps with your sewing now this is what it is once we've unfolded it make sure you have make sure you cut two pieces of that okay now you want to place both pieces right sides facing each other and then sew along you know the line where i'm showing you while this part this part at the bottom is to be left open so don't sew the bottom part just sew the sides and the top okay so i'm going to show you guys how i sew it now now this is what you have once you've done now you want to go ahead and turn this out okay so turn this out once you turn it out iron it and this is what you're going to have the bottom part is going to be open okay now take it take your your top and then just you can, you can see that it's open right ahead uh -huh. place it on your neck starting from that zipper allowance of the back and then go ahead and just sew it okay now there are two ways you can sew this make sure that you're sewing only one side of that um piece okay i told you that it opens up so make sure you're sewing only one and not the two pieces together so it's just sew one side to the neck you can sew it from the right side of the neck and then fold it to the wrong side and then sew again or you can sew it from the wrong side of the neck and then later on you fold it out to the right side i don't know if that makes sense guys but the way i'm doing it now is i'm sewing it on the right side so i place the piece on the right side of the neck and this is what it looks like once i'm done sewing it all the way around okay now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to fold it towards the wrong side see what i was explaining earlier so now it's going to be folded into the wrong side or towards the wrong side of you know the neckline now make sure you fold it in make sure that it's nice and neat and then go ahead and then just sew it down okay make sure that you're folding it as you're going along all the way to the end once we're done this is what we have okay nice beautiful turtleneck all done 
thank you guys so much for watching i'll show you guys the full dress in a second